Just switch it up a little bit, just a little bit. Two males, two males, ABC. She will turn together today and then tomorrow I mean, she touches my badge. And don't touch me. Why am I in a hotel room? We didn't have enough fuel. Ever headed to Philadelphia, got the fuel. They were so angry. Now it's too. Cost them. Show. Unexpected layout. based here in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're return, as always, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so a lot of changes. A lot of changes. New hairstyle, same nails, but... So it's not a lot of changes. I'm lying. <laughs> but yes, actually, there is. I changed my hairstyle, and I did change my hair color. I got my hair dyed. Um, Like, probably a couple days ago by the... Probably about a week and a half ago by the time y'all see this video. Yeah, just switch it up a little bit, just a little bit, you know, for the fall, kind of. Um, but I remember I had a blonde phase. This was like a couple months ago. I had a blonde phase, long, long time ago. But anywho, that's not what we're going to discuss today, okay? So today we're doing a LaGuardia turn. We're doing the late LaGuardia flight. I'm flying with one of my classmates and two of the other flight attendants. I've flown with them before. So two females, two males, ABC, period. Love that. Um, and what's crazy, tomorrow I have the same crew except for one person. I, tomorrow I have Kiana, but today I don't have Kiana. That's crazy. I'm going to be with the same person for the next three days. So we do a turn together today, and then tomorrow I start a two-day, a nice easy two-day with a nice layover. I have plans for that, so just stay tuned and you will see that. Um, LaGuardia turn. I'm finally positioned. Report time is at 6.43 p.m. It's currently... Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.35 p.m. It's 4.35. It's 4.35 p.m. So I'm about to leave. It's Friday. I live in Atlanta. There's traffic. Don't like that. So I gotta go. Um, I haven't checked the loads or anything, but I'm pretty sure I will be leaving with some open seats if I don't. That's a miracle, or that's strange, and I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, nothing else to update. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go. Let me know if you guys like my hair, and if y'all like the color, if it fits, if it suits me, if it's this is me. I'll see you guys in my next clip. I lied. I have something to tell y'all. So the other day, I actually did a um, Cancun turn two two days ago because I was off for two days and I got my hair done yesterday. So I was flying to lead position, right? And if you know me by now or if you have not noticed in my videos, not only because my badge is right here, I wear my badge like this. I don't flip it over if you notice that. Even at work, I wear my badge like this. I don't flip it over. You can see my picture, everything or whatnot. Flying to lead, I'm up front, we're boarding. This lady boarded and she goes, um, hey, it's my first time flying international and my friend did not tell me that we have to pick our seats. So I'm like, so how did you end up with the seat that you have? You know, I mean, yes, she probably could have gotten that at the gate, but if that's the case, her question to me, they could have fixed that at the gate. Then she goes, uh, am I able to sit next to my friend? So I said, it's a full flight, but I can see what I could do once we're done boarding. And since we're still boarded, I'm not able to tell you what seats are open. So just take your assigned seats. And once we're done, if I could switch, move you, I'll move you. If not, you just have to sit in your seat. She's like, okay. And then in the midst of me explaining to her that we're still boarding, she touches me. She touches my badge and flipped it over. And I was drawn back. And I was like, no, ma'am no ma'am <laughs> i said no ma'am do not touch me and do not touch my badge she's like i can't know your name i said you could ask me my name but do not touch my badge and don't touch me 
And then we, I had a group of nun revs in the front row. I had a coworker. I had someone from Yellow Airline. I had someone from the Big D Airline. I had someone from the Love Airline. And I believe I had someone from B6, I think. I think so. Um, but yeah, they were in row one and they heard our conversation and they started laughing. They were like, Tashawn. I was like, no, I'm being for real. But they agreed with me. And even the yellow airline even said something. He was like, yeah, you don't do that. Don't touch me. You want to know my name? I will tell you my name. But in the midst of me explaining something to you, don't take it up on yourself to touch my badge and flip it over and ask. No, ma'am, you don't do that. Mm -mm. but then in flight i was doing a trash run and she was like um yeah i'm sorry about earlier i said it's okay but just know that you know you never touch a flight attendant if you want to know something just ask them and that's one of the reason why i don't wear my badge like that because people be tripping and people be crazy like mm -mm. i mean i've seen flight attendants who wear their badge i guess that's the professional way to do it me i'm not doing that i'm not doing that but yeah that's what happened and did something else happen? I don't think nothing else happened. Yeah, so that was a Cancun turn um, two, two, two days ago or so, or probably three days ago. But let me know if I went about it the correct way. I believe I did. I don't think I... I was professional, but I, I think I went about it the right way, though. But, you know, everybody have their two cents. So, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> It's guys, 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 I just want y'all to see the time. Hold on. It's 2.19 a.m. I'm in a hotel room, as you can see. Why am I in a hotel room? I don't know. Why am I here? I have no idea, but I'm going to try to talk fast because my, my camera battery is dying. It was a lot tonight. I'm in New York, unexpected layover in New York, near the LaGuardia Airport. So we left Atlanta, heading to LaGuardia. We were in a um, holding pattern. Holding pattern means basically we're just circling until we have clearance to land. We needed clearance to land in LaGuardia, but LaGuardia was backed up. They had a lot, a lot of traffic in and out of LaGuardia, so they had to, you know, have some planes in a holding pattern until they got the clearance to land so we did that for like an extra 30 minutes of the flight when that 30 minutes passed they were like oh you might have to hold for next hour we didn't have enough fuel for that so we had to divert to philadelphia we diverted to philadelphia got the fuel loaded back up i mean the passengers stayed on the plane but you know did everything again the demo closed the doors everything whatever that specific order 20 minute flight from philly to laguardia we got to laguardia deep cleaned everything one of my uh co-workers was fatigued i'm not gonna get into details because you know everybody be going through stuff or whatnot i'm not gonna get into details or whatnot but yeah laguardia is not a base for us so we had no choice but to cancel that flight or just delay that flight until tomorrow morning and they have us here overnighting in LaGuardia I've never stayed here before here I am and uh, when I tell y'all these passengers in LaGuardia were rude we got off the plane and they started like cussing at us like they wanted to attack us I promise you they were so angry. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that you're upset because people have stuff to do. I'm being fair and I'm not being biased. I understand that you might, you booked this like to do, do what you have to do. But you also have to understand that if someone is not able to operate or do their job, they're going to take the necessary procedures, precautions that they have to do to, to better themselves, to help themselves. Like, I'm pretty sure if you go to work, you're not going to go to work if you're sick. No, because I'm not going to work if I'm sick. 
But at the same time, if I buy something, a service, I expect to get the service. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being biased or anything. But these people tonight, they topped it. Like, they were cussing at us. We were walking from the, um, off the plane. This passenger, she's like, oh, there's a crew. I'm going to record them because this is not right. I want my money back, blah, blah, blah. We walked through there. I'm like, okay, whew, all the passengers are pretty much gone. We got to baggage claim. There were some Jamaicans too. Cost them. Cost them out. Watch them out. <laughs> like, I really wanted to cuss. <laughs> but I had to bite my tongue. I had to bite my tongue. I'm like, I can't, bro. Just keep walking. And my palates, they were so good. He just said, y'all, we're sticking together. Just keep walking. We got on that show and came here. Here I am, but these people tonight, they were so rude. So, 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 so rude. Like, I believe what Gord is going on my no-fly list. Like, I'm gonna try my best. Like, tonight they topped it. They topped it. Topped it completely for me. Completely. So, yeah, we left Atlanta, had to divert to Philly because we needed more fuel because LaGuardia had a lot of traffic going in, but that's about it now we're here and tomorrow we dead head to um, look uh, Atlanta on the late flight now I could divert if I want to and go home earlier but I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what my crew is doing so let's see I was supposed to start a two-day trip today but they feel like the uh, Fort Lauderdale layover I know Kayana is gonna be so mad and I had plans for that but I'm paper ticketed for that, so um, yeah, I don't know. Who scheduling just called me? Yeah, guys, I'll talk to you guys uh, in the morning. There is something one for me. Hey guys, so real quick, me and my classmate, we were about to go into Times Square and just, I guess, walk and just just to explore, just to get out of the hotel room. And it's currently 2.30, so I told her I was coming downstairs at 2.30, here I am. And we're gonna be back around 6, 6.37, because we don't have to, our shuttle is at 9 p.m. tonight. So we have a few hours to spare, kill time, do whatever. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip, I'll be vlogging on my phone because my camera battery died.
It's currently 6.25 p.m. I just made it back from um, Times Square with my co-worker slash classmate. Um, we are going to leave early to go to the airport because KCM, my security that I go through, it closes at 8 p.m. And initially, we were going to leave here at 9, but we don't want to have to deal with all the extra stuff. So we're just going to go early and I guess sit there and chill. Um, Times Square was so much fun. I did have some footage for y'all. Y'all should have seen that by now. Um, it was fun. We did a little sightseeing, went out to eat, a little shopping. Um, I ended up, I have to buy some shoes, as you can see, and a jacket because it's cold. It's literally freezing here, and I wasn't dressed for this. I wasn't prepared for this. I was prepared for Fort Lauderdale. So this is what I get. Um, but it didn't turn out so bad after all. Even though I wasn't supposed to be here, it didn't turn out so bad. So I think I'm going to make, um, I don't think, I'm going to make this video its own because I was going to combine it with other videos. But I'm going to just make this its own video. This is special. Unexpected layover <laughs> and diversion, all type of stuff. But, um... I'm just gonna lay down for the next 20 minutes or so before I start getting dressed and start packing up because I got a headache so I just need to rest for a minute and I'll catch you guys in the next clip when I'm dressed and all packed up and ready to go to head to the airport. End off the video guys, I just didn't want to leave it, leave y'all hanging. So um it's currently 1.44 a.m. I just made it to my parking place. I'm about to drive home. <laughs> Somehow my turn turned into a... Rude. Somehow my turn turned into a fake three-day, basically. Um, it was a good, unexpected layover, I must say. However, you know, sometimes you didn't plan for it. So one thing for sure I didn't have was a jacket. I had my cardigan, but I needed something that was more thicker so I could feel more warm. And pants. But yeah that's about it i don't think nothing else the flight was an hour and 55 minutes coming back to atlanta great crew that worked it um i pretty much watched my show the whole flight so i'm gonna make this video its own i hope you guys enjoyed my unexpected layover diversion a whole bunch if you guys made it all the way to the end thank you guys so much for watching as always and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next work videos. Good night guys. Bye guys.